In this video, we're going to look at the rank functions that are available in Excel. And in Excel 2010, there's one rank function available. And in Excel 2013, that rank function has re been replaced by two other rank functions. So we'll have a look at all three rank functions in this video. So what we have here is a table of data. We have customers, we have eight customers, and we have our last month sales. And we want to rank these sales in order of sales value, both ascending and descending. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. But before we get stuck in, if you find this video useful, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or any feedback, please do use the comment section below or just say hi if you want to say hi. So let's first look at the rank function. And you'll see here in Excel 2013 that I'm using rank has this little triangle. And that means that it's now being replaced by newer functions. But that doesn't matter. Let's have a look at it anyway. And the first thing it's looking for is the number that you want to rank. So we want to rank our last month sales. The next it's looking for is the reference. Now this is the array or the group of data that you want to rank it against. And I'm going to press F4 to lock them in. After this, it then is looking for the order. So do you want it descending or do you want it ascending? So if we select zero or leave a blank, we will be selecting descending. So let's select descending and then let's just fill this formula down. And we can see now that this has ranked these sales in order. So we have number one, the highest sales is 18,520. Now with this rank function, if there are two values or more the same, it's going to give these values the same number. So we can see here that both of these have been given number one, even though they may have other factors to make it one or two. Now we selected zero for our ranking and if we change zero to one, it will change these formulas to ascending, which means it's going from the lowest value to the highest value. So now we can see that the highest value is value number seven and these have both been given the ranking seven. So now let's look at the rank EQ. So first of all, we put in our rank formula and we will take rank EQ. And what a rank EQ will do is first take the number. Again, it's going to take the reference being the array and then it wants the order, which is optional. And in this case, we'll take ascending and hit enter. And we will fill this formula down. So the rank EQ works the same as the rank function in Excel 2010. And it gives, if there's a duplicate, it will give the duplicate values the same ranking. Now let's just look at this rank EQ function again. But this time what we're going to do is we are going to select descending and we're going to rank these values in a descending order. So that means they're from the highest to the lowest and you'll see they get number one, the same as when we had this ranked. Now let's look at the rank average and see what difference the rank average makes. So if we take our number, we then take our reference rows and we will put in one for ascending and hit enter and we'll fill this down. Now what we'll see is the duplicate values are given in average instead of just given the exact same ranking. And if we take our rank average and this time change our rank order from ascending to descending, fill this formula down, you'll see it just ranks these in descending order instead. Now, if you didn't want to have duplicate numbers for these values here, what you could do is you could edit this formula to now include a count or a count if statement to change these numbers. And I will cover that in a different video. Hi, my name is Paula and thanks for watching. 
Here at the Excel Club, I offer online Excel and Power BI courses for all levels. We have free courses to get you started and premium courses on more advanced and specialised Excel and Power BI training. You can access these courses on the website and from our apps and there's links below the video so please do explore them. We also offer custom Power BI and Excel solutions so if you want to create custom financial models or a Power BI dashboard then I can help you. You can find contact details also on the website. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll take the time now to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't be shy. Feel free to comment below and say hi. See you next time. Bye now.